Good morning, everybody. So I'm doing the first day um, food vlog of the sugary free six pack challenge. So basically it's a month of no processed sugar. Um, yes, I will put the blog post link below. It explains it a lot. I'm sleepy right now. I just woke up. <laughs> so you probably don't want my explanation of it. It'll be all jumbled and tired sounding. Um, but I'm starting the morning with an apple. I usually start with something a little more substantial when I'm working out in the morning, but I've been traveling nonstop for three weeks and I'm taking an active rest day. Uh, if you do the Get Fit Guide, you know that Wednesdays is an optional active rest day if you need it. Um, I feel like my body probably just needs it. So I'm gonna do some abs later, <laughs> maybe a nice little light something. Um, but yeah, so I'm starting my day with an apple. Yum, non-processed sugar. All right, so I'll update you as I go. Um, yeah, good morning. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so my next eating for today, it's about 10.30. Um, and I'm just having some eggs because my schedule's a little off today. I'm going to the chiropractor at 12, which is around when I usually eat lunch. Um, so since I'm having a bit of a later lunch, and I didn't work out as soon as I got up this morning, my food is a little bit on a different schedule than usual, I suppose. Um, one of these days I'm going to do an actual normal, almost everyday plan of eating. I don't know why I decide to do them all the time on days where things are different. <laughs> but I'm having some eggs, um, scrambled eggs. Pretty much all I do there is I put some ghee. Uh, yeah, look, you can see this. So this is ghee. It's pretty much clarified butter. You find it, I believe I found it in the Indian food section in my Publix. Um, but it's great, so if you want to check that out, research more about it, this is ghee, G-H-E-E. -E. Um, I put a little bit of that in the pan so it doesn't stick. I scramble three eggs, put a tiny bit of pepper and sea salt in, and that is it. Um, pretty basic eggs, uh, <laughs> nothing too fancy. But that is my next snack for the day, um, kind of to tide me over until lunch later. So yeah, I'll catch you at lunch. All right, I'm back for lunch, so I like to eat salad at lunch. Um, it fills me up. It gets a lot of nutrients and, you know, all that kind of stuff in it. Today I didn't have a ton. I have leafy greens, tomatoes, peppers, avocado with lemon squeezed in it, and chicken. These are hot chickens. They're on my blog. I think they're called Healthy Hot Chickens in the blog post. So, yeah, this is my salad. Typically for lunch I try to do something like this. It's easy for me. I made enough chicken for like multiple days, so I just throw that in there and throw everything else in there. Super easy way to get your lunch in. Um, also works when I'm not home. I can just leave the chicken or like whatever off and add it afterwards um, in just like a separate little container or something. So yes, here is my salad for lunch. I like to do this. And yeah, I really don't have too much more to say about this. Um, this salad here. Have a nice look before I devour it because I'm really hungry and yeah, lunch. Hello, I'm back. I'm having a snack, RX bar. I always hold them upside down um, because I think I actually am going to do some type of hit today with my abs just because I'm feeling a little more energetic than I thought I was, you know, listening to my body <laughs> here and I might save my day off for later. So RX Bar Snack, I like these ones because they're kind of a whole foods based bar. They're not a uh, bunch of added sugar and crazy stuff that I don't know what it is. And that's always good for me. I like to try and stick with like a real whole foods approach. And yes, here it is. This is my favorite flavor right now, which is chocolate sea salt. I was hooked on the blueberry for a long time and then I got tired of them. <laughs> I ate them for so long that I decided I had to change it up, but yes. Just checking in with my snack. I'll show you our dinner later. Gus should be back soon and we're gonna go work out, so it's gonna be fabulous. <laughs> Have an awesome day, everyone. All right, I'm back with dinner, and what me and Gus had for dinner was sauerkraut chicken. I made it in the Instant Pot. I already ate it and forgot to show you guys, so here we are. It's basically super easy. You cut up some chicken and pour in an entire can of, or I got glass bottles, I'll show you. No, I won't because I put it in the dishwasher because it's a nice glass jar. So I get, <laughs> Gus is watching me, but <laughs> I get a glass jar of sauerkraut and cut up the chicken, throw them both in the Instant Pot for like 25 minutes and it's done. It's super easy, but today I let it sit for like five hours and it's still really good. So, you know, 
Instant Pot, is, it's a pressure cooker. I always call it Instant Pot because that's the brand we have. Um, but yeah, super easy. And then behind me, I've got broccoli cooking. You can kind of see it. And yeah, that's our dinner. So that'll end food for the night for the most part. I may have a snack later, so I don't know. But if not, that was my day of food. The chances of me not having a snack are slim, so I'll probably see you again. Hello! Last snack of the day here. I'm having some grapes. Uh, yeah, so this is it. Pretty easy. But these are just red grapes. And I'm having some of them as we watch Vikings, which is what me and Gus are currently watching right now. So last snack was the grapes. Um, besides my food, like I said on my last daily food video, I'm always drinking tons of water. I carry around like a 24 to 30 ounce cup um, and probably drink seven, eight of the 24 ounce, maybe six or so of the smaller or the bigger one. Um, so yeah, water is super important. Um, but mainly what I try to do with my food is get lots of veggies in, you know, eat frequently enough that I don't let myself get super, super hungry and then, you know, go and eat something crazy just because I'm desperate, <laughs> like cakes or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's a more of a normal day for me and it was my first day of no sugar challenge. So if you want to check that out, I'll link the blog post below. But thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you next time.